Hello! Today you're going to learn seven key phrases you'll hear when it comes to making bow tie diagrams. We'll explain exactly what they mean and where they fit into the world of risk management. If you like this video, subscribe for more similar content. And as always, leave a comment for what you want to see next. So let's get cracking with our first term. Number one, risk assessment. In the realm of process safety, a risk assessment is the cornerstone. It's the systematic evaluation of your risk management practices, ensuring alignment with organizational or regulatory standards. By assessing risk, you're actively minimizing workplace hazards, an indispensable aspect of overall safety. Bowtie diagrams are the go-to tool to pull together your assessment in a visual diagram, giving you a big picture overview of each potential risk. So, on to the next. Number two, cumulative risk. Think of cumulative risk as the sum of individual risks, reflecting the overall risk level when multiple scenarios coalesce. Boto diagrams emerge as a powerful tool, offering a visual representation of cumulative risk. They allow you to clearly discern the repercussions of one or multiple barrier failures. Zoom out further, and you can analyze data across multiple diagrams through a dashboard, gaining a comprehensive view of your overall risk landscape. Speaking of bow tie diagrams, number three, bow tie method or bow tie diagram. Bow tie diagrams are a visual representation of risks and control measures. Think of it as a map that guides you through the hazards and potential harm in your organization. At the heart of this diagram is what we call the top event, which is the loss of control of the hazard that has the potential to escalate. If your hazard is operating heavy machinery, the event is the scenario that you really don't want taking place, like losing control of the machinery. On the left side, you have the causes, the things that lead to this top event. Why did the operator lose control of the heavy machinery, for example? And over on the right, you find the outcomes, or rather, the consequences of that event taking place. If they lose control of the machinery, it could lead to injury or loss of life, for example. And what brings your diagram together are the barriers. These are your safety nets, the things you put in place to stop the event from happening. Together, these elements create the shape of a bow tie, hence the name. If you would like a more in-depth definition on bow tie diagrams, head on over to our video, What is a bow tie diagram? But in the meantime, on to number four, metadata. In the language of bow tie diagrams, metadata is the additional layer of information describing various elements, typically barriers. It ensures no detail is overlooked in your risk scenario. Common metadata types include description, condition type, and owner. You should customize metadata to meet your organization's specific needs and enhance the depth of your risk analysis. There are tools out there like Bowtie Master that enable you to do this easily and sync any changes to your metadata across the rest of your diagram at the click of a button. Now on to number five, risk matrix. A risk matrix is the compass guiding risk evaluation and prioritization. Typically presented as a five by five grid, it assesses risks based on the likelihood of occurrence and the severity of outcomes. Placing operations or activities on a risk matrix visually illuminates associated risks, offering a clear understanding of potential hazards. We have a video on risk matrices available on our channel for a deeper dive into how they work. Number six, risk attribute, residual and initial. A risk attribute is the rating on the risk matrix that you assign to a particular risk. Risk attributes are divided into two categories, initial and residual. Initial risk is calculated without the consideration of any barriers or measures you have in place to prevent or mitigate an incident. Residual risk is the risk that remains after you have considered the effect of your barriers. Ask yourself how much risk is incurred without any safety measures in place and how much risk is incurred if these measures are in place and effective. Number seven, a LARP. A LARP reviews ensure risk is managed to an appropriate level. A LARP, which stands for as low as reasonably practicable, prompts reflection on how far we should go to prevent risk and how to gauge if enough has been done. Bowtie diagrams can offer supportive evidence to answer these critical questions. So there you have it. Seven key phrases you'll most likely hear when it comes to creating a bowtie diagram. Think we missed anything? Add your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more hints and tips for risk management. See you next time.